Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Repeat Ron, and today we're going to be taking a look at another overclock. This is Leadstorm for the Leadstorm minigun. This is an unstable overclock that greatly increases our damage. This gives us four more points of damage to the minigun, which is quite a lot for the minigun. The downsides to this though is that you can no longer move. You kind of can, and I'll show you how once we actually get into the match. Uh, but you can't move in a regular way where you can actually just be firing the minigun moving backward or forward or side to side. And we also lose out pretty much on our stun. Our stun has a small chance of triggering now and it doesn't last for very long. Uh, that's an okay loss in my opinion for what we get. The build that I'm running for this is improved accuracy in tier 1, increased ammo in tier 2 but the damage is pretty good in tier 2 as well. Uh, armor breaking rounds in tier 3. The blow through rounds is also pretty good here too if you want to take that and you want to hit multiple enemies. I have this just so that we can hit like Praetorians a little bit harder. Faster spin up in tier 4 so we can get our gun shooting a bit faster and then cold as the grave in tier 5 so that we don't overheat our gun. But both aggressive venting and hot bullets are pretty good with this one too. For a second here I'm going to be running the burst pistol with the compact mags. I'm going to be running accuracy, faster rate of fire, damage, ammo, and stun. For perks, I'm going to be running Resupplier to get supplies back faster, Sweet Tooth, because we don't need to have like Born Ready or anything, so we can just get a little bit more health if we need it, Thorns to keep little things off me, Dash to get away from bad situations, and Beastmaster to get a Steve. I'm running full duration on the shield like I usually do, full length on the zipline launcher like I usually do, my normal armor setup, uh, pickaxe is set up just how I like to have it, and then I'm going to be running the incinerary grenades with this. We're going to be taking this on a escort mission with a Magterra Plague. So this should be interesting. And of course we're going to be doing this Hazard 5. Oh yeah, we got rich atmosphere. <laughs> yeah! High pitch voices for the win! And then regular voice there for a second. Alright. Oh, we must have hit a vein of nitra on the way in too because I already have 25 nitra. That's pretty nice. Yeah, mind that one, Bosco. Yep, here comes the Magterra. Okay. Yeah. Now here's kind of the thing that you can do with this. You can sort of bunny hop. And it works pretty well most of the time. Ow. It doesn't work so well when you get stuck in goo, though. Yeah, we dash. There we go. Well, good thing I have Sweet Tooth. So as you've seen me kind of uh, stopping shooting jumping, it doesn't make it so you have to stay in place when you're falling. So that counts for if you're jumping or if anything else is messing with your uh, mobility. So you could potentially have an engineer knocking you around with RJ250 to kind of keep you safe with this. It also doesn't affect uh, your mobility if you're attached to something like the drill dozer here. Uh, loosely attached, of course things can push you off. But so long as you're attached to Doretta here, then you shouldn't have to worry about your mobility loss. As well as if enemies aren't focusing you, then Leadstorm is great for killing things really fast. It's really strong on like elimination missions if the Dreadnought's not focusing you. Um, on these missions where you don't need to move, it's pretty good. And same with if you set up one of your zip lines. So, I'm just gonna try to pick off everything that I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> hey, you leave Dottie alone. Okay. Fix up Dottie then. Yeah. Leave me alone, folks. Oh, that's a try job. Oh, wait, you. Yes, become my Steve. No, oh, man. Durant, no. No. Ah. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to lose part of Dottie because of this. Yeah. Dang it. The drill has sustained permanent damage. Step up your game, team. Yeah, it has. The drill dozer has stopped. Fuel canisters are all dry as a bone. Refill them and we will have this show on the road again soon. Okay. 
Let's get rid of that. Let's fix up Dottie. That was unfortunate. Had I not got grabbed there, I probably could have saved Dottie a bit. More of them? I just killed one horde. What the heck? Oh, stay away, grabber. Fix Dottie. No, leave me alone, grabber. That's gonna break off another side, isn't it? No! Dang it! Man, the Mactera plague on this is annoying. Barely holding together. Alright, well, it's. Why is this so high up? Alright, let's go. Let's not waste any more time. Let's try to keep Dottie alive for this. Maybe I should have called in the resupply. Oh well. It'll have to wait. We've got a big horde of enemies approaching the drill dozer. Defend it or die trying. Defend it or die trying. Alright. I don't think I'll die, but Doretta might. going. Oh wait, this is a two-stop mission? Ooh, that's not good. Oh, and I went down. That's really not good. I did not think that this was a two-stop. I did not think that this was a two-stop mission. That's Ready to kill some more crates. potentially really bad. All right, Dottie. Don't worry, I'll fix you up, and we'll try to keep you safe from the Mactera. Okay. ready for refueling. The drill is under attack. Of course it is. As soon as I get done, let's see where it gets attacked from. Let's see if it's just a bunch of Mactera that show up, or if it's grunts. I hope it's just grunts. If it's just grunts, it's not so bad. Is the horde further ahead? It could be. That does happen sometimes. That's probably what happened, so... I guess I go forward and then deal with the horde as it comes. Or as we go through it. Let's go then. Trying to keep up and guard it with your life. Alright, well, next stop is our last stop. <laughs> yeah, go right for that Evo Nut. Grind it up. I think she did. Yep. Alright. <laughs> Fantastic. Don't 
Don't worry, Doretta. I'm gonna try to keep you safe. Get on Bosco. Hit the ceiling now. More fire. Alright, cut him down. <laughs> oh no. You be my Steve. Heavy pressure when the drilling commences. Uh, that there. Supplies are on the way. All right. Well, we might have gotten through the hard part now, because I don't think this section will be too difficult. I'm hoping. Let's do this. Go, Doretta, go! Omeran, Hearthstone! Extraction commencing. Gruntos are running at full steam. Stay alert, team. Yeah, well, yeah, let's just put that there right away. Attention, team. To keep the Gruntos are running at full capacity, you need to keep it clear of bugs. Also, we got an incoming swarm. Swarm! Repeat, swarm! Oh, we're in the gun. Okay, I gotta get rid of the tri jaws mostly. Alright. Fixing up Dottie. There we go. Crust has been breached. Keep defending the drill dozer. Okay. Get rid of the rocks. Oh no. The drill dozer is barely holding together. Get it fixed before the mission is lost. Okay. <laughs> Hang in there, Dotty. I made sure none of the rocks hit you. That's the problem there. There's a tri jaw stuck in the engine. <laughs> Alright. Hunker down and load up. The drill dozer is at the halfway point. Keep it running. It's a big one, team. Another guy first. Got all the little stuff. What's up? <laughs> All right, fix up Dottie again. Yeah. <laughs> Get 
grab this. All right. The drill dozer just has to drill a little further, and we're done. Okay, and then we got the we the other beams, but we'll just shred right through them. We'll shred right through everything. <laughs> Back to repairing. Steve, you're doing great. I think if you're still alive, you might not be. No. Yeah, you get out of here. <laughs> Okay, well, this could be potentially bad. Keep safe. Gonna try to keep Doretta safe, like how the dwarf is saying. There's no Trijaws here, so. Never mind, there's one Trijaw here. Structural integrity of the dozer is critical. It's fine. No! Oh, apparently, I wasn't. All right, Daddy, you got this. I just kind of got to sit on it right now. If I go down again, that's okay. Yes, you did it, Daddy. You did it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Molly. That Magterra Plague was worse than I thought it would be. I didn't think it would honestly be all that bad. Nicely done. All right, let's get our other evil nuts and get out of here then. No. <laughs> I heard it. Alright. Go resupply. Or not resupply. Go, bud, go. I'm hoping it goes that way. Cause that's where I left. It's that way. Dang it. Alright, come on, we gotta go get Dottie's head. Leave no Dottie behind. Now where did I leave Dottie's head? I think it's the next stop over, because I figured I would find the last evil nut over there. Yep, there it is. Forever. Yeah, maybe this will be more normal bugs then. Unless, uh, you know, Macteras. Alright. Nope, never mind. More Macteras on the way. All right. All right. Come on, Daddy. in T minus four minutes. Oh, there you are. Let's go. A lot of grabbers this time too. I guess it makes sense with the Magdara, but yeah, they can be annoying sometimes. Galactic thanks you for your good work. Drop pod will leave with or without you. Oh, okay, there's Daddy's head. I was like, where did it go? It's okay. I just got another dozen mag terror to kill through. But at least it's a No! Daddy! Yeah. All right. You need Daddy's head up there. I could have got that slasher as a Steve.
All right. All right. Here we go. Now, no Magdara show up, please. Yeah, just regular old grunts and stuff. That's fine. I don't mind that, because they won't knock me off of here. All right. Let's go, Daddy. Let's go. We're out of here. <laughs> that was a fairly difficult mission, actually. Between getting grabbed, getting swarmed by the Magterra, and just having parts of Daddy break early on, as well as I didn't realize it was a long mission, made that uh, quite a bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But hey, we got through it. Ah, oh, there's the loot bug and there's Duddy. Safe and sound. So that was Ledstorm. Pretty good overclock. Uh, I like it. I don't use it as much as some of the other overclocks from the minigun. It's probably one of my least used. Usually I'm taking a little more room for exhaust vectoring over it, just because I still like the regular movement speed with the minigun. But once you get used to the bunny hopping, it it is pretty good. So that'll do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Tell me what you would like to see in the next one of these uh, overclock spotlights. Uh, one that I haven't done already. I, I do plan on doing all of them, but uh, I never know which ones people are really going to want to see, you know, next. So thanks again. Uh, special thanks to the supporters of this channel. These are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos like this. And if you would like to be a part of that, you can. There is a link down in the description of this, as well as all my other videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!